How did I come to the title Unqualified? It goes back to YouTube, as all great stories do. One day I found myself getting prepared for church, going to the recommended for you sidebar that you often free fall into as you're searching YouTube. And I ended up turning on an interview, an interview with a pastor who's well known and respected as a theologian. And the interview was playing in the background as I was getting ready for church. I had no idea what was about to happen next. It uh, was a little bit different than what I expected because they went into a lightning round interviewing the theologian and they asked, uh, what's the first thing you think of when you think of, and they would say a name or subject. And eventually I heard them call my name. What do you think when you think Stephen Furtick? Well, to be honest, I was kind of flattered that, that they even knew who I was. I'd read this guy's book in seminary. Okay. You know, he's a great hero and all this and very, very smart. And so I ran back into the room to see what he was gonna say about me. And his body language said it all. He, he kind of sighs, <sighs> he exhales, as if the mere consideration of my name was wearisome to the great man, you know, just the burden of the universe to even have to consider my name. And the crowd started to chuckle, signifying that apparently he wasn't a fan. And he says this following word, he just says one word to summarize me, and you, I guess you can guess what the word is. He said, unqualified. And it was such a final kind of pronouncement, like a, a gavel in the Texas death penalty case. <laughs> Unqualified. And I heard that, and what surprised me the most was, it didn't make me mad. I kind of laughed. For a moment, I thought of some words that I could call him back. Of course, I'm not gonna name the guy, but there are some clues in the book if you actually wanna read it. But what surprised me was that I kind of agreed and I was fine with it. And after I thought through my emotions for a few minutes, it was like I thought, yeah, that has a nice ring to it, unqualified. So good. I've always felt that way. Right. I feel that way as a pastor, I feel that way as a husband, I feel that way as a dad. Who doesn't feel that way? I've been a pastor for 10 years yeah, now. we all feel that way. Who doesn't feel unqualified? And so all of a sudden what he meant as a criticism turned into a compliment because it set me free from the need to perform, right. knowing that God produces results in my life. Mm 